Hello there, today's video is a demonstration of a new product we've just uh, published recently. It's the C-Trader Wada Atar trading system. Now, um, this product um, happened because m many traders have actually suggested to build a system based on an indicator and we got some feedback from our customers and we've actually built it mostly from the specifications from the customers. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the actual indicator itself, I can quickly show you it here. So the first thing we did was convert the indicator into use with Ctrader and add some telegram alerts. You can download the indicator from our website. You just go to clickalgo.com um, and you can just type up here in the search box the name of the product and you should be able to download it. You can also access it through um, trading indicators, best free indicators. Now this indicator um, is pretty good. It's one, of the, it's one of the better indicators that you can start using for identifying change of um, trend. And if I scroll down to the chart here, you can see it's got explosive green bars going above the yellow bar, which is the explosion line. You can see there was a bullish trend. And again, where there's a bearish trend it actually shows the red lines. And it also shows the dead zone here at the bottom. Now we've modified it slightly since we first done it. Um, it's now been integrated into the system. So what I'm gonna quickly do first of all is tell you how this product happens. So on our website, we've got a suggestions and feedback uh, page where customers can suggest um, the uh, new products that we, we would develop and they would actually help us do it. So it's a community project. And at the same time, um, this page also helps with um, existing products, how to improve existing products. You can just find the um, suggestions page by going to contact, click on suggestions and you can scroll down. So what we've done is we've built this product based on customer's feedback. So let me close this one and I'll close the indicator page. And we first of all created just a basic document here. You can see the document here. Now you can download this document from the knowledge base. I'll show you where you can get it. But this was based on trade rules and adjustable settings that are for this trading system. So if you can understand that this product isn't something we just built um, ad hoc, even though we've got somebody who trades, who gives us advice, um, what we're starting to do now is community-based products. Uh, so that actually our own existing customers can give us feedback and help us with it. And we've got a Telegram group where we get feedback as well. So that's it. That's enough just to tell you about that it's a community driven product. And because it's a community driven, -driven product, we get feedback from our customers. It has a higher chance of um, getting a really good system rather than just a system that somebody's put together. So from our website, you can purchase it here. I'm going to scroll down the page now. So each of these links will take you to the knowledge base where you can actually find out more of how to use the system. Um, we did a back test for one year and we just picked the first symbol. Um, and we did optimize the settings, but we used tick data, which has got the spread built in. And this showed a 31% net profit with a drawdown of 5.85%. Um, we've had some good feedback from our Telegram group customers. So people have used it for other symbols and the actual results have been pretty good. So quite happy with this product and how it's done so far. Um, and we're hoping to actually add more features or to improve it over time. Now, if you scroll down this page, like I said, it will give you more information on how to run back tests and all the rest of it. We're going to put the video here. It's got a news release manager we're going to integrate um, and it's got um, 14 day trials. If you want to download it on a 14 day trial and give it some back testing and test, sorry, back testing, you can. So what I'm going to do now is quickly go to the user guide. So I'm going to move across to here. So this is the user guide that you can access from that page there. And on here, um, it tells you a bit more about the system. And if I go to the get started, it tells you what indicators you need to use. I'm going to go through this uh, with Ctrader in a minute and I'll explain all the indicators. But it uses a super, it uses the, the Wada Atar explosion indicator for the trade signal, the entry signal. But it also uses um, additional trend signals to identify a strong trend. So rather than just use one indicator, it's going to use other indicators to say, is this a trend, uh, a bullish or bearish trend, should we enter a, a trade? It uses the ATR to indicate average true range also as a trend indicator plus for a trailing stop and obviously the news release manager um, for managing news releases. Now at the bottom here, you can see you, it'll show you how to add a CBOT instance, how to load your parameter settings because we do provide um, example parameter settings to get you started. And it'll also tell you how to run a back test and how to report any bugs if you do find a bug in the system. Also here, you've got all the user settings. So this will explain all the user settings for the product. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna go through the video with the C Trader, and I'm actually gonna explain it to you on video. Um, but if your English isn't so good, you can actually go here and translate it into your own language and you can actually find out how the settings work. And also on the trade rules, it'll tell you how the trades open. Uh, what actually causes a signal to open. So this will give you uh, more information there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go straight away to C Trader now. So I'll open up C Trader. Now um, I've already added a symbol. So if you did, if you do want to add a symbol, you can either right-click on the symbol in uh, the C bot, which is here, 
or you can click on the plus sign and add a symbol instance, but we've got one already added. Um, and then to add the settings that we provide with the download, just right click on here and load parameters and you navigate to where your zip file is when you downloaded this and you can add, um, load in the sample parameters that we've provided. OK, so what you need to do, we advise or I advise that when you do this, you don't use the trade window, OK, which is up here. So this is the C Trader trade window at the top um, and this is used for manual trading. Um, I would advise using the automate window for all your automated strategies because you can see your parameter settings a lot easier and it's um, specifically built for running automated trading systems, not for really manual trading, even though you can manual trade. So I'd advise to run in your automated trading systems using this window, but if you wanted to um, intervene or manage your trade separately, you can actually do it from the, this window. You just attach the same indicators onto this chart and you can manage it and see what's going on. Um, you can also do it from here if you want. OK, so the first thing you need to do, um, the indicators won't be on the chart as default. So when you first add a CBOT instance, you won't have the indicators you see on the chart there. So you need to add the uh, indicators on there. There's four indicators. Um, so first of all, I'm going to actually show you the indicators that are on there. So we have the uh, click algo tr average true range, and that is the average true range, the green line you can see here. Now, this is used obviously for, well, it's used for identifying a trend, and I'll go through that in a minute, as well as mostly it's used, I'd say, 80% for a trailing stop. So the trailing stop will trail behind the average true range. The super trend indicator, which we've already got one uh, that we actually sell, which is the uh, trend surfer, which is the one you see here with the green dots and then the red, dot, red dots. So this identifies a trend and it actually draws the dots. Uh, the Dinapoli Stochastic, now this is a very uh, useful indicator we use with most of our trading systems and it's a proven indicator over time to be very good at identifying the trend. It has an additional feature of a, um, a, 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 I can't remember what it's called now, I think it's grid distance or grid distance, cross distance, yeah, there it is at the top. So this actually identifies the distance between the two lines, the red and the green line, I'll go through that as well. Actually, uh, it filters out fake reversal signals and also you've got an upper and lower threshold I'll go through that as well in a minute and and obviously the entry indicator which is the Wada Atar indicator which is what you see at the bottom now when you first start you need to add these indicators you just go to the little f icon there and you type in the name of the indicator you want to do so for the Wada Atar you just type in Wada and it's got it here and if you click on that it'll add it to the chart actually I'll add it and take it off when you add it to the chart um, the first thing you need to do when you add all of these indicators to the chart, you need to make sure that the indicator settings that are in the CBOT parameters, which are on the left, match what's on here. Now, I'll, I'll just quickly go through that now. So just to not confuse anyone, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the indicators on the chart there. But when you start this, you need to manually add the indicators to the chart. And when you do that, you need to make sure that the indicator settings that are shown in your CBOT settings, which are on the left here, match the indicator settings that are on the chart. Otherwise, you'll wonder why trades open when they shouldn't have opened. OK, so I'm going to quickly go through the parameters now, and then I'll actually talk about the indicators. And at the end of the video, what I'm going to do is run a visual back test and just show you a trade opening and closing due to the average true range indicator. OK, so at the top here, the first parameter you've got is instance name. Now, that's the instance name when you open up a CBOT instance. It will be named WAE Trader, and you can name this anything you want, and it will help you um, filter the different trades that you're using. So if you're using a CBOT instance for the euro dollar, another one for the euro dollar, but with different settings, or another one for the GBP USD or a different currency pair or, or symbol, you can actually change the instance name to identify them individually. And also the instance name needs to be different if you're going to use trade with two Euro USD. So if I was to open up another Euro USD and I'm using different CBOT settings, I need to have a different instance name. So that's quite important. Okay, just remove that one. I'll go back to the settings. Okay, send signals. Um, what this one does, if you set clear, yes. Um, and at the bottom here, you can send, um, where's it gone? Email notifications or Telegram notifications. So you, as well as opening a trade, you can also have a Telegram message sent to your phone. And you can also have an email sent to you as soon as a trade opens. You can also turn trading off and only send, send signals only. Um, and if you do that, it will just send you a signal. So you can use it as a signal provider, but it won't open a trade. So it will just give you a signal to say you need to open a trade. You do this by turning buys and sells off. You can turn both of these off. So if you turn off buy only and sell only, no trades will open. And if you leave send signals, it will send a signal. If you do uh, buy only as yes, then it will only open up buy trades. Now, 
if, for example, you can you identified over the past six months that a particular symbol has been bull in a bullish trend and you see that bullish trend continuing, I would not open sell only positions. I'd only open buy. I would go with your analysis that you've done on the charts to say that you've analyzed the charts and you've seen that there's a bullish trend and you feel that that's going to continue because you wouldn't open up uh, sell positions if you feel there's a bullish trend. You go with the trend. OK, so this gives you the option to actually use this. And I've actually done this and there's some settings that come with it, which is a buy only for a bullish trend. And they come out very, very good with low drawdown. Uh, OK, I'll leave those both set to yes. Now, lot size <coughs> uh, on this uh, bank account balance I'm using, which is just 1000 uh, in this case, pounds or dollars. I can't remember um, the lowest lot size is 0 0.01. So I would start with the lowest lot size and run your trades that way. OK, we've also added a, a take profit and stop loss. So you can use a fixed take profit and stop loss if you want. I've set these both to zero because um, with these settings, trades close with other ways, other trade rules. And I'll show you that in a minute. But if you wanted to do a fixed take profit or fixed stop loss, just enter a value here. Now, the debug mode, if you select the CS, it will draw a vertical line when a trade opens or when a signal occurs. It will also add some more debug information in the trade log here. So this is your trade log down there. And it will actually add more information. Now, when you run the CBOT in the log file at the bottom, it will tell you um, the versions of the indicators that uh, you're using or has been installed. And it will tell you that the licensing has been validated and the system is running. It will also tell you the version of the trading system. So you know you've got the latest version. OK, so risk limiters. Um, again, you've got max spread. What that means is um, if when you open a position, sometimes the spread widens. And if this happens, um, and it goes too far. It means that if you've got a five pip spread, when you open a position, you've lost five pips, whatever the value of five pips in you've lost. So you might want to set a limit so that no trade will open if the spread widens to a certain value where you don't really want to open at a certain loss. You want to want to open a trade when there's a low spread and you've got higher chance of making more profit. The equity stop. It means if your equity drops below a certain value, it will stop trading. It will actually stop the robot as well. So it'll stop your robot and stop trading. And I think it closes your positions as well. So it's more like a protection of your account so that you don't blow your account. So that's for equity. And that's obviously includes open and closed positions. And you've got another one, which is balance stop. So if your original balance was, say, 1,000 euros and it drops below a certain value, you could set in here 900 euros. It will actually stop trading. So it will protect your account from dropping below $900, uh, dollars, sorry, whatever you're using. The WAE settings. Now, again, when you add the indicator to the chart, so if I right click this indicator, it comes up with these settings. Make sure that your sensitivity, fast EMA, slow EMA, make sure all of these values are the same as what you've got um, in the WAE entry signals. Just got a cough a minute, sorry. <coughs> so just make sure these signals match, because if they don't, you'll wonder when you're looking at the charts why a position open when it shouldn't have. And what we've put at the bottom here is close on reversal. Now, what that means is, is that when there's a reversal signal, so if there's a bullish signal, it'll open up a buy. But if there's suddenly a sellish signal, it will close the buy and open up a sell. So it'll allow you to close that buy position when there's a sell open. Another very important thing I need to mention is uh, this system will only ever open up one trade at a time. So you'll only have one buy or one sell open at any time. OK, that's very important. Um, if I come down here, ATR entry filter. Now, this one's quite important because if a trade opened, for example, here, so I'm flashing the uh, cursor, um, say two dots. Now, if, for example, it did, um, the ATR signal is at the bottom, which means that if you had a trailing stop, the stop loss would be trailing this green line. So it would open a position. But on the other hand, if a buy position opened up here, um, even though we've got all the signals apart from the Dinapolis telling us that it's overbought, um, even though it's selling here buy. So the, uh, the WAE indicator is telling us to buy, but the Dinapolis telling us that the the instrument has been overbought. So it's actually going into a cell possibly. And also the ATR is, uh, oops, nope, not here. It's gone below again. But if the ATR line was above here, then again, this filter would not work. It's better if I showed you here, actually. So for example, if a, um, I'll put a line. If, for example, a buy position or a buy trade had a signal to open there, the ATR filter line is above the price. It won't open. It filters that out, OK? so. That's that. <clears throat> OK, if I go to the, tr the super trend signal. So the super trend signal, um, you've got an option to activate the filter or not. So these are the optional 
trend filters that you can turn on or off. So you could, if you wanted to, only enter trades on the WAE indicator and ignore all the other trend indicators. Now, if you were to turn this one on and say activate yes, it will then use the settings for the super trend to determine if it's bullish or buy, uh, bearish trend. Let's have a drink of water, sorry. So the green dots is a bullish trend, obviously, and the red dots is a, is a bearish trend. So again, this has got a 40 and a 1.7, and the MA type is wild dust moving. So if I was to click on the indicator, right click my mouse, um, you need to make sure the indicator settings are the same. In this case, you've got 41.7, so I need to update these. 41.7 and the MA type, the moving average type, is wildest moving. And the confirmation dots is four. Okay, that's all you need to do. So if I click OK there, now this indicator, you can see it's all green now, is actually correct um, and it relates to, it matches now, sorry, the indicator settings on your uh, automated trading system. Okay, so that's that. Um, in just go through the confirmation dots. What this means is you need to have so many dots before it provides a signal. So if it's just one red dot, and all the other indicators are saying, for example, buy, it will actually not execute, the, it won't enter a trade or give a signal. It has to be four dots in this case. So after it's created four dots, so that's a confirmation that the trend has changed, it will then enter a trade. Now, the Dinapi Stochastic, if you've, if you've used any of our other trading systems, you'll be familiar with this one. Again, you've got an optional filter to um, turn it on or off. You've got settings, which is the fast K, slow K and slow D. The crossover distance, this is explained more detail in the um, in the knowledge base. But what this means is, I'll give you a quick overview. Uh, the crossover distance means that if I put a line there, you can see on the candles that there was a definite price drop, bounce and a price reversal, almost like a V. This means that there was a solid reversal of the trend hitting a support or resistance or whatever. So if this happens, you'll usually see the core is usually quite correlated with the Dinapoli stochastic and you'll usually see a distance between the red and um, green line. In this case, there's a smooth, smoothish curve and the distance between the red and the green line has to be above a certain value. And it kind of matches the pattern that happens in the candles. If it's, for example, messy and noisy, um, trying to find one, say, for example, here, you don't have, as it crosses over, it's quite messy. There is no distance between the two. It actually isn't just the, it goes so many bars back. So it's actually a formula that's built into the indicator. And what it does, it calculates this wave and makes sure that there's a distance. Anyway, I've gone on too long on that one. So that's a Dinapoli, and that's very special with this indicator to filter out fake signals and to identify solid trend reversals. Um, so that's that. And you've got entry time frame. Now, what this means is that you can choose a different time frame from the time frame that's on your chart. So on your chart, you've got a one hour time frame. You can say that the Dinapi stochastic has to be a four hour time frame. Now, what we're looking at on the chart here is a one hour. So you can't actually show a four hour on the chart. But what you can do is um, open up a four hour chart and just make sure that the signals correlate. They're the same. So, oh, no, they put daily on here for these signals. OK, so it's a daily time frame. OK, yeah, you'd have to put the indicator on another chart and check that it's daily because it won't show it on here because it'll only show hourly. OK, um, if you're unsure about that, just send me a message on Telegram and I'll explain it. Now, the oversold and the overbought values is the two here. Now, what that means is if the price here, if you see these two indicator values, OK, they've gone up. You've got fast eight, three and three and four. Yeah, these two values, um, if the main, the main and signal lines, if they go above 70 in this case, or an 80 in the overbought, as it goes up, it means that there's a lot of buying going on. So there's a lot of volume buying on the, uh, sorry, the symbol, there's a lot of buying going on. And if it goes above a certain value, it's deemed as being oversold. And if it drops below a certain value, in our case, it's 20, it means it's been over, sorry, it's the other way around, sorry, I'll start again. If it goes above, in this case, 80, it means it's been overbought. So the symbol's been overbought and there might be a price reversal. If it drops below 20, and we've set 20 and it goes below that, it means that the symbol's been oversold. And again, there's a potential of being a price reverse. So why don't we go with the actual trend on the this indicator? So if, for example, the indicator has been oversold and there was a Wadata bullish signal and it was a bullish trend here and the ATR, then all of these, all these kind of uh, moons have to align. And once they've aligned, then we enter a trade. So it increases the probability of um, having a successful trade opening so a better trade entry okay okay so the one at the bottom here we've got the average true range trailing stop now in this case you've got an option to activate it or not 
Um, now what this means is, I'll go through it and show you a demo. It means that in this case, say here a position, a buy position did open, for example, or up here, be a better one here. Um, if it did, the trailing stop would run along this green line and it would follow it. And up here it would bounce up. So the price, as the price increases, the trailing stop trails using the average true range calculation behind the price. So not only does it limit your risk, sorry, it helps you with your risks, or reduces your risk, it can also lock in profits as the price goes up. So this is a very useful indicator to use and you can choose to um, update the stop loss every time there's a price change or every tick of data, or you can do it when the bar closes. And that's this feature you've got here on bar close. So when a candle closes, which is a bar, you can then update the stop loss. I would pretty much leave it at that unless you want to experiment with on tick. Now the MA type, which is the moving average type, again, if I right click on here, make sure these values match. You've got seven types of moving averages. Um, that's the moving average type that's used for the calculation. Um, again, you've got standard settings, which is your period and weight for the indicator. And at the bottom, you've got use high low. Now I've got use high low. If I change this one and set it to no, you can see it's recalculated the ATR indicator. And now if you use high low, it means it uses the last high and last low price low. So you can use the um, last price high and low if you want to calculate it that way um, instead of the standard calculation for the average true range. I'm going to turn it on to yes. OK, so that's that. Now, the rest are pretty straightforward. If you're familiar with other other stuff, you've got a standard um, break even stop, optional parameter, uh, optional setting, sorry. And in this case, it's pretty it's what we use for all our training systems. Um, what this does is if your example 10 pips in profit, which is the 10 pips here, it will break even plus zero pips. Now, normally, if you break even plus zero pips, you get charged commissions and stuff. So you actually lose a little bit. You don't actually break even. So it's always a good idea to add a couple of pips or whatever you're doing one pip to cover your costs. Or you can add as much as you want. The standard trailing stop, again, is optional. Um, this means that in this case, 20 when the price is 20 pips in profit, it will trail 10 pips behind the price. And as the price increases, it will continue to trail 10 pips behind until the price reverses and stops out in profit. News manager, um, we've got a news release manager if you're not familiar with it. And what this does is it avoids trading during high impact news events. Now it's a separate product that comes with this for free and it allows you to load in news data and it knows the news data up to three months and in the future. And what will happen is, say high impact news is about to happen, you can set it on the other application so that for example, I don't know, 60 minutes before the high impact news release, because sometimes there's noise before a news release, it stops trading. And then you can actually uh, continually stop trading, don't enter trades until so many minutes, and you can set these minutes, there's a parameter after the news release. So normally again, after a major impact, high impact news release, the price is all over the place. It's like it's still fluctuating. So you can say, I'm gonna wait three hours OK, until the news release is finished, news release is finished, and then I'm going to start trading again. So this feature does that. You cannot backtest a news manager or a new, or this feature. You cannot backtest it with Ctrader, unfortunately. So when you run a backtest, um, whatever settings you see, you might even see some drawdown spikes. If you see that, it's because uh, usually it might be a high impact news event um, or any other market event. OK, OK, so <laughs> you've got here closed positions. What this means is. It means that before the high impact news event, you can close all open positions. If, for example, you left positions open just before a high impact news event and it went the wrong direction of your trade, you could end up losing a lot of money. So it's always a good idea, good idea to close your positions before a high impact news event. And the last two values at the bottom settings, sorry, are for sending emails, email notifications and telegram notifications. Now, we also have another tool which is free to download and it will help you configure and set up your Telegram account so you can start selling, sending Telegram messages. OK, so that's 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 what I wanted to show you there. Um, so what I'll quickly show you now is a visual backtest and this actual system working. So to do that, go into your backtest settings. I've started off with a capital of 1000, commission of 30 per million, one minute bar data, and I'll just copy the live spread there. <clears throat> OK, make sure you've got visual, visual mode ticked. You don't need it for a back test normally, but just to show this. Now, I've set the start and end date time so that when it runs, it picks up a trade, which I'm hoping to show you now. So if I click play, so it'll pick up a trade in a minute. And there you go, it's picked up a trade. So that's picked up a position. And you can see it's drawn a green line. So in this case, 
um, it's still rising. So the Denap oh, it's a daily Denapoli. That's why you might get confused. If you get confused and you look at the Denapoli and you're wondering why it's opened when it's overbought, it's because we've got the daily time frame on the Denapoli up here. You can see it says daily. Had me confused for a minute. But you've got the signals, which are defined. I'll go through that on the, it's in the uh, knowledge base. And it tells you um, the trade signals for when you open up a position. The green bars have got to be rising and they've got to be above the explosion and the deadline. And um, it's got to be so many green bars for the um, trend signal. And the Dinapoli has to be below the overbought threshold and still rising. So all of these settings must be right and the ATR for it to open up a buy position. So the buy position has just opened. Now, if I click on positions, you can see it's opened up a buy position there. And if I continue, you'll see the trailing stop now here is now trailing behind the average true range which is going up. At the moment, it's um, 20 pips behind the uh, the entry price. So it's 20 pips behind the entry. No, it can't be, it's above. Oh, that's a stop loss, sorry, ignore me. But the price is going up, which means the actual, um, you're in profit, okay? So the trailing stop is going 20 pips behind at the moment. So if it dropped back down now, you would actually lose. Um, maybe if I can zoom into this a bit more. Okay, there you go, that's easier. And if I minimize this and minimize this, I'm actually going to get rid of the Denapoli to make it easier for you to see. Now I'll continue to run and you'll see this trading stop here is now below uh, using the average true range, uh, which is trailing below the entry price, which is still at a loss, but the price is moving about at the top. So if I continue, and I'll stop again. Now what you can see now is the average true range has gone above the entry price and the stop loss is trailing it. So it's now gone up to 130 pips. Okay, $13 in profit. So the stop loss now has moved above the entry price and it's not using a take profit. So you had risk management when it was below. So it was managing your risk. So if it dropped so far, it would stop out without a, a huge loss. But right now, because the price is still increasing, it's trailing using the average true range and the price is still going up. So if I keep play, pressing play and it's still going up and I'll keep playing. And it will come down. Now it came down and it touched the average true range. So it stopped out. So it's actually stopped out. I'm pretty sure it stopped out using the um, average true range and not the WAE. But at the same time, it can stop out using the WAE by um, if, if you have this set that the indicator shows a bearish trend, it can also close by that. So if I go to the history, you can see it closed in the end uh, with a net profit of 1485. Okay, so that's a demonstration showing you how it works there. Now, I'm not going to go too long in this video because I think I've gone on a bit too long. So this video is just a demonstration to show you uh, quick, quick, quickly how it works. And if I go to the knowledge base and I go to, I don't know, any one of these. So this will open up the knowledge base. Oops, that's a super trend. Yeah, so you need this indicator as well. So this is a super trend indicator. This is included with your download. So when you actually um, purchase this product and you download it, it will include this in your downloads file. You can just download. So what I'm going to do is just go to the um, settings page. Now in here, have a read of this. This will tell you about the user settings that I've just gone through, and it will give you more information about each setting in, in more details. And then you've got your trade rules there that will tell you how a buy position opens. Okay. So I might have gone on too long with the video. Sorry about that. Um, the only thing I wanted to show you was our YouTube channel. So I'm just going to quickly show you. So you're not familiar with who we are. Um, oops, no, I don't want that. I want to go to our website. So if you're not familiar with who we are, uh, we are clickagra.com. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to show you our YouTube channel. Um, come to our YouTube channel, which is, you're probably watching this now from our YouTube channel. Um, subscribe to it because we've got a lot more videos for CTrader and a lot more videos for our products. And we've also got a CTrader uh, tutorial of how to actually use the trading platform. So it's growing now. So just subscribe to us. And uh, whenever we release a video, you'll be able to find it. And please, if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom because these thumbs up help our Google rankings, which means that we can actually grow as a company and produce more products and more videos for you, which also helps you as the trader. So we both grow together. OK, so that's it. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope you can just have a look at the product. You can download it from our website here and you can actually download, like I said, a 14 day trial version um, unrestricted and you can um, use it and back test it to see if it's something that might help your trading. And again, we've got a live chat support on Telegram where you can actually chat to other traders. I'll just quickly sh I'll share it later. So it's actually got a live chat a telegram group where you can actually discuss this product with other traders and share settings. There you go. Thank you very much for your time.